Hi everybody, how's it going? I'm back over here at the shop. Got a few things I want to try and get done ahead of time taking it to Dennis's over at R&R &R Fab. That way, if I can get most of the hard part of the work done, it'll just be some welding and a little bit of fabrication work he'll have to do. I did speak with him yesterday and he said probably next weekend, Saturday or Sunday, we'll be able to take care of the few things I need to get done. And that'll put me right on track to hopefully making it to the U.S. Nationals at the middle to end of January. That's the goal that I kind of, I want to debut the car. Hopefully it all works out. But I want to take you up underneath the car and show you kind of what needs to be done and give you guys an idea what I what I got to do. So let me grab you and we'll walk over here to the car and look at this real quick. All right, so we just got a typical four link setup with a wishbone. Um, this whole process has been a creative problem. The drive shaft clearance, when the car fully extends, like on a radial, a car will try to separate. And when it fully extends, the body of the car is gonna lift up. And when it lifts up, there's a potential for it to hit here, as well as right here. As well, here and here. So what I plan on doing is cutting this bar completely out right here because it is not needed. It's not a certification requirement to have this bar here. Uh, speaking with a couple of the different chassis guys, the only one that is required is the main hoop bar. So I can't have that open. But in doing so, by cutting this out, it'll give my drive shaft more clearance. With that happening, with that happening, my wishbone, I am gonna take off of here and mount it to the top of the rear end and mount it to the back. So I'm gonna take the wishbone off, turn it around and mount it to the back of the car. Or the only other alternative I have is putting a pan hard bar crossed. So I'm still trying to figure that out, figure out how that's gonna work. But my plan right now is to get the drive shaft out of it, drop the wishbone, take the drive shaft out, pull my carbon fiber tunnel piece out, and then I'm gonna sawz all this pipe off, cap it. And then I'm gonna weld in two bars right here and then those will just give this little bit of end some strength not i don't know if these will twist or flex they are welded and capped on the outside up against the car so speaking with uh cody and dennis they said that this should be suffice because there's a down bar right here and there's another one I believe, well, that's the main hoop bar. So I'll just tie back into that, tie back into that. This ain't gonna flex. This portion ain't gonna flex right here. This shouldn't flex once I put them bars in. Once I cut this out, that is gonna give me a lot more room. So either I'm gonna have to rebuild this. <clears throat> and the only way you can tell is to jack the car completely up and see if this is gonna hit which right now I know almost, it almost hit, it, well it hits when the car shocks are fully extended. Now, whether I have the power to ever do that or not, I don't know. I really don't wanna take that chance because I would like to go to a carbon fiber drive shaft. And I'm just trying to make everything clear, nothing's hitting nothing, so forth and so forth. So that's what the plan is for right now. I'm gonna get started working on this and we'll see where we go from there. 
So the first plan is we'll get this wishbone out of the way. We'll get that situated. Shit comes out fairly easy. Slide this down here. It's kind of centered. There we go. I don't have nuts on these as of right now. Grab a screwdriver. You get that one out the other one come out easy it's got a little bit of pressure on it right now all right so got the wishbone out we'll just lay this up here for now now the next thing is we we'll get the drive shaft out we'll go ahead and get these caps off the drive shaft. It's the only thing I hate about this whole process is you think everything's good, you're building a good car, and it's just always one little thing until you get everything worked out of it. get that off let me go get the jack so I got a transmission jack raise the rear end up off the ground now I can turn my drive shaft to and I'll let it back down just a hair to break the bolts loose tighten it back up and can't think Thank Big Country enough and Justin for letting me be I'm over here using their shop. Of course, they ain't never home anyway. So. Well, it works out for me. <laughs> anyway. Must have had some good orange juice or some something. Bolts are tight. Of course, I was probably thinking I wouldn't have to take this back apart again. Little do I know. I'll pick it back up off of the lift. There we go. Oh, 
don't remember how I got that out. We got that out. Now to get this piece out, I kind of tap this in there and want to get that piece out so I can cut it because what I plan on doing is splitting it right down the floor here. I'll weld this on, and then wherever I weld my bar. I'll cut a section of it off and probably bend it down and tack it. And then my drive trash tunnel, I'll split. I'll leave a little bit hanging down, I think, on each side and maybe put a Zeus in there or something just to hold it up. I don't know, I'll figure that out. But that's the plan. So I, I got my carbon tunnel piece out. Put that up there for right now. And now, all we need to do is uh, saws all that pipe bar out of there. But I don't know if I should, I probably should fit the other bar there first, just in case it flexes. Just in case. I doubt it's going to, but well, my luck, you never know. Let me get uh, let me get set up with the saws all and stuff, and see if I got enough pipe and all that. So I'll be back. So I got just some uh, inch and a quarter, or one inch. Dennis said it shouldn't take very much, and then what I'm planning on doing is, as I said, I'm gonna line that up, cope it make it fit in there on each side wherever it wherever it may be I'll square it in there and then um, when I cut off this where I cut this off I'll just cut and cap it sorry about the camera moving around all crazy but yeah, so just put them in there like that and cut that piece out. And then that'll open up the bottom of this where the distance is gonna be greater. The distance will be greater to this front bar than it will be to this back bar. So I'm thinking when the shocks fully extend We'll never have problem hitting here. The only problem I'll still have is my wishbone and either, as you can see, I, fa I had Dennis fabricate it once, but I don't think that we went enough. I think that we would have to put a deep, uh, just a little bit deeper deal in there and that should work. And I could probably leave the wishbone where it's at and that'll be an easy fix. Then the other thing, I mounted, you know, I'm not a chassis builder, but I mounted the brake rod. This is for my brake pedal. I mounted the pedal over here. I'd actually like to slide the pedal over to about here somewhere and put the pedal, get it away from my gas pedal a little more. And the reason I'm saying that is because if something happens and I get in a little bit of trouble, I don't want to accidentally go in for the brake, hit the gas. So we're going to leave all this stuff where it's at, but we're going to cut this out and make a new piece for this. 
that way I can put my brake pedal a little further away. I won't be able to get it as far as way as I wanted to, but I mean, if I can get it right in this area and I can slide it forward a little bit, whatever, however it works out, but I wanna move that brake pedal over a little more because my gas pedal's right beside it. And I was talking with him and he thought that would probably be a good idea. You know, just, just in case ever something happens and it gets out of shape or which, you know, that's going to probably be bound to happen. It's safer to have that, ga that brake pedal a little further away from your gas pedal. And that's the plan we're going to do with that. So cut this bar out. He'll have to TIG, TIG these two bars back in, kind of tighten that up fix the anti-roll and move my brake pedal. And that's all, really all I got. I think it, uh, it'll be good to go, then get the car set up. I'm looking, I'm looking at some of this stuff. I mean, I've never had a four link car ever in my life. I had a ladder bar car, so I know that the four link cars, you know, once you get them adjusted, they're good to, once you get to fit, once you figure out what your car likes, they're pretty easy to adjust. I don't have all the adjustments like these new Marty Merlet brackets and stuff that are out. I wished I did, but I don't. So I'm gonna make do with what I got. I think we'll be able to figure it out and get it close enough where I shouldn't have any problems. Um, yeah, so I don't know that I ever showed you guys the, the shocks after I completed them, but this was after putting the two, ex, two inch extenders on, I was able to raise my shocks back up instead of having them way down here, holding the body up. And I still, I still might move down and put some more inserts down lower, but for the time being, I think that's gonna work out and we'll go from there. All right, so cut my two pieces of pipe and I'm gonna put up here and here. I'm gonna get the, uh, the flapper wheel and cope them a little bit so they'll fit up in there. Let me grab it real quick. So what you do is you just take the, I just take the side of the flapper wheel and, and just work the center of it out a little bit. And you can see how it kind of copes the middle down a little bit. Not gonna take a whole lot because that pipe is bigger. It's bigger than the other one. So. One thing you gotta make sure is you do it straight across from the other one or you'll oh. 
car, you cope it on one side and then don't cope it on the right side on the other side, it won't be too good for you. If you know what I'm saying. I mean, that looks pretty good there. I just need to take a little bit off the end of this one. You only want to do a little bit at a time too, because if you go hogging that bad boy out and you take too much off, can't add it back. You know what I'm saying? So it's always easier to take a little bit out, of, a little bit less out. I am almost there. I just need a little more. Trying to get it as tight as possible in there. Tap that up where my little rubber mount go. Where did I put that thing? I leave it in the car. left it up there in the car. It's got a little dimple in this floor right back up just a hair. Yeah. There's a little more out of the other end now. Oh, yeah. Oh. There we go. That's not a bad fit either. Not bad for a dumbass. Put that thing over there while I want it.
Get me a tape measure real quick and measure that, make sure it's square. Put my readers back on. Oh, damn, pretty damn good for an eyeball. Hard to believe that. Now what I do with my marker. We got it tapped in there pretty good, so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. What I'll do is I'll brush that up with a little, hit that with a wheel, with a whiz, with that wheel, flapper wheel real quick. And I'll just put a tack on each side of it. I'll let Dennis handle it from there. I'll go ahead and do this other side. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it it'll get it it get it'll get it done. Then you just roll it back and forth as you do it, and then hell it. You know, this is a bigger pipe, so I'm going a little bit bigger. But I mean, that thing fits on there perfect. So we'll do the other side now. Kind of got the other side done. like to make them both four and a half. Yeah, it's four and three eighths, four and a half. And tap this side. Man, that's hot. Can't believe how hot that a little bit of grinding got that thing. Really want to try and keep it in line with that down bar. So we're four and three eighths. Need this end to go in just a little more. I think what I want it to do, take this screwdriver and tap it. That might have done it right there. It wasn't too far off. That one's gonna be four and a quarter. I can live with that. Now this one's four and three eighths. Need to tap this in just a hair, make it four and three eighths. Yep. They shouldn't be interfered with the drive shaft. Well, and that was that. That was pretty quick. I guess I can buzz the welder over here. I'll clean these off real quick just to... I need a little bit of... Now, one thing I'm not, I am not a welder, so I'll probably just put a tack on each side. That'll hold it in place for the time being. I really need to, this one probably has got to come back out to that four and three eighths, four and a half. Cause I want to cut right beside that bar. So let me get the uh, welder over here and I'll go from there.